Smart State Nebraska started in agriculture. This is an initiative that grew from the ground up. Uh, our Page Wireless Network spans the state to support our growers first. But the vision grew beyond the institutions involved, quite honestly. So we have cities that are supporting our initiative and on our network. We have institutions, industry supporting our network, all because they understand the importance of agriculture to our country. They understand the importance of continued innovation for agriculture. This initiative is so very important um, personally to me. Um, I've spent 30 years in technology. I've grown up in farming, still involved in farming. Um, I see it as an opportunity to share some of what I've learned from many, many other folks um, back with the people that are putting uh, food on the shelves in the grocery stores. We're rolling out a LoRaWAN statewide network and that stands for Long Range Wide Area Network to really take the benefit of the IoT. Truly connecting anything a producer wants to connect to bring data back to help them be more profitable, be more efficient, and deliver the healthy food we eat. It's going to take partnerships to solve the connectivity problem in rural America. I think as a country we now understand that. It's not a one-size-fits-all. Agriculture is not a one-size-fits-all. Agriculture in Nebraska is different than agriculture in California. How you deliver connectivity has to be different from farm to farm, state to state, and that's what we're dedicated to doing, and that's what our partners are dedicated to doing, and that's been a really magical thing to see. This is a really unique partnership because when you look at the parties that are participating, they all bring something different to the table, and that's very important for this to be a success. You look at the Nebraska Public Power District, our primary purpose in life is to, to deliver low-cost, reliable electricity and outstanding customer service. Yes, we have operations in, in IT, yes, we have radio operations, but that's not a, a specific expertise for us. You look at Page Wireless and the Laura WAN capabilities that they bring, um, that's a wonderful fit, and we're going to be able to leverage that. You look at the other entities that are also looking at coming into this, such as the rural power districts, their natural connection to the ag community. You bring all of these parties together, they're going to build off of one another. We're going to get so much more accomplished than any individual entity could on their own. I think it's a wonderful opportunity for the state of Nebraska. CropMetrics is involved with the Smart State Initiative with our focus on irrigation technology and our initiative to support growers first and foremost. It's important from a grower's standpoint to collect more and more data from the field from different types of sensors and solutions. And up until today, uh, without this type of wireless connectivity network, it's been difficult to do that. Shortcheck's involved in the Smart State Initiative in helping build a good network for precision livestock equipment and sensors. You know, our whole goal is showing what's happening on the farm, in the barn, lot, pasture, that what they're doing is a good job and people can trust it. So that Smart State Initiative hits right where we're trying to bridge that gap in between producers and consumers and showing the good job that we are doing. Cities in rural America have similar yet very different struggles when it comes to water and water management and water availability. We're dealing with a growing population right now. So it's a grower that is growing food and feed and fiber and energy to meet the needs of a growing population or it's a municipality that are trying to meet the needs of their customers. They all have challenges that need to be met. We're trying to do that through technology and practices, having access to the right technology to become more efficient with your water use and changing the way that we practice. Becoming more efficient with your water use is essential. And what we're doing right now in Nebraska is an example of what can be done around the world with adopting this type of technology that helps folks manage their water more wisely. I think Smart State Nebraska is all about leveraging technology, technology that is evolving at a very rapid rate. But it's also about the culture of innovation right here in the heart of America. In the middle of America, people would not believe that in Nebraska we embrace that innovation culture. And we have to for our own communities and our own survival. It's pretty amazing what's happening here. 
and what is actually somewhat overlooked by the rest of the country. So we have a culture of innovation in Nebraska across the state, both from an urban perspective, but also a rural perspective. And the beauty of Nebraska is that because we're naturally stewards of the land, we share that information with one another and we come together as a community, as a people, as a state. Smart State Nebraska to me is really, um, we're bringing technology to our friends and neighbors. Um, again, because I'm a Nebraska native, I, I think I can say that. Um, I do care when I go out and, and uh, work with um, agronomists, uh, farmers, um, producers. Um, I, I go out and I walk away with um, some long-lasting friendships um, and I, I try and live each and every day as, as um, I would like to have others treat me. And um, it, business is business, but creating win-win situations for both, um, that keeps our economy in Nebraska strong. Our rural communities, kids are moving away. Um, bring the technology um, for them. They're used to working this way. Let's enable them uh, with the technologies that they're accustomed to and let them continue to keep producing food. The connectivity and the solutions that we are providing have changed the game for farmers, quite honestly. They're able to pull data, make decisions based on data. I think that's really important because now consumers can actually see how their food is raised and how it's delivered to them um, in a sustainable and a humane way. Being able to make decisions on data is not you walk out to the field and you kick the dirt and it's dry, so you need to irrigate, for example, but now you have the true data to see what the soil moisture level is, what the crop roots look like, and that'll lower input costs, and essentially that'll make the farmer more profitable. Crop Metrics has been searching for solutions to bring more and more data from multiple types of sensors for several years, really from the beginning of uh, our existence in trying to deliver advanced technology to growers. And up until now, without this type of wireless solution that Page is bringing to the market, we've been unable to do so. So with the Page Wireless Network, it allows us to input multiple data streams from several type of sensors within the field and increase the connectivity that growers are demanding to improve our efficiency and productivity across the farms. Producers, whether that's cattle, pork, or poultry, will now have the actual data back from the farm to make decisions uh, real time. Uh, they'll see real data, whether that's feed bin data or RFID tags to know where their cattle's moving. Uh, they will be able to have that because we have a statewide network to support it. I don't necessarily think that consumers want to see all the code and all the data for blockchain, but I think they want to know that there's a process in place that we are checking upon ourselves and we do have some self-guidance and that there is someone else watching throughout, throughout this entire process and that it is pure, it is transparent in what we're doing and that the food that's on their plate was taken care of. And antibiotics and other pharmaceuticals to keep those animals healthy were used judiciously. And the environmental cause and effect was taken into account, that producers did care about that the entire time because we live and we work here and we're definitely not gonna ruin our livelihood and what my family's done for six generations because we care about it. And you know, technology is one of those kind of cold things, you know, uh, it's just more wires, more systems, more apps, but Chorchek is different where we, take, we use technology to help share that story, pure, true, straight to you. To give the consumer a perspective of where we're at today, we attempt to use one soil moisture sensor in the field to determine our optimal irrigation application timing and rates. And that's really a deterrent because we're limited to that one sensor in the field based on current hardware technology and connectivity limitations. With the Page Wireless Network, that allows us to expand those sensors to increase across different soil types and topographies across the field while also giving us more connectivity with different types of sensors, such as on the pivots, our flow meters that measure uh, the amount of water being applied, as well as uh, several other different types of new sensors that we're evaluating today. One of the biggest things to Chorcheck is that authentication of the data that we put into the system. So when I say I'm in the barn, 
how can I improve that I'm in the barn? Where the smart state allows us to really thrive and to make a difference is because now we have the connectivity to be able to talk to that. Because Nebraska is a pretty big area and hog barns are in the bottom of a valley or a feedlot's on the top of the hill. And sometimes cellular and internet can't get there. But where we have the ability to connect these smart devices is through the Smart State Initiative with Page Wireless. Page brought us the connectivity at an affordable, robust, and intelligent way that we can get our sensors to come back to us to verify that data, to show that we're doing a good job. That's why the Smart State Initiative is important to Chorchak's system. It has just been an amazing initiative, an amazing experience to see, to see people across the state and our partners recognize how vital keeping agriculture in our country is. Um, and I think it's really the culture of our heartland. This truly is the heart of our country. And this has been the most innovative state, in my opinion, in the world, because growers and producers innovate. They've been innovating for generations and generations. And now we're giving them the tools and the connectivity to adopt the innovations. I think across the state, whether that's cities or industry or your power utility or a water provider or your internet provider, they recognize that connectivity is the crux and now we're taking that away. Now they have the connectivity. I really think Nebraska should be a model for the world, not only in how we come together and how we care for one another and are compassionate for each other's issues and concerns, but um, this is really important for how the world will thrive and survive in the future. And this is a great model for how communities should come together. We're really excited about what Smart State Nebraska is doing. Nebraska has always been a leader in water management technology. Whether it's from the adoption and innovation of scientific technology to what we're doing today, we're hoping that this can be copied, emulated, and used throughout the United States, ensuring that farmers, ranchers, cities, and anybody who irrigates has the right tools that they need to become efficient with their water use. Well, I'd like to think other states will look at what's going on in Nebraska and, and realize that we probably have to pull together different entities that maybe traditionally didn't work together do need to come together to make these things happen. Public-private partnerships, uh, that's a real key here because in the end it's all about the people we serve. It's all about the economies that we're trying to build and we have to pull together to do that. Sometimes we can do that in this country, unfortunately many other times we, we can't and we need to prove that it can be done. Uh, rather than go out and say, here's what we're going to do, we've already built it. And um, it's, it's rather than, you know, they oversell and under-deliver, we're here. It's now and it's in Nebraska. And again, we're not um, waiting for folks to, uh, uh, to jump on board. We're going to show that um, here's what we are doing and have done. Everyone cares. All of our partners care. All of our partners have a passion for rural economic development. They have a passion for empowering our producers. They have a passion for innovating and this, this movement allowing them to do that. This should and I truly believe will be the example for the rest of the country. What pulling a community together, businesses, community leaders, legislators, farmers, producers, you name it. What can happen when you work together? When you work together for a vision that's bigger than you? And that's agriculture.